Welcome. How are you doing today? I have made my way over to the Menard House in Galveston, the island. It was my great, 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 great uncle's house. He uh, was friends with this guy, Juan Seguin. And back in the 1800s, Mexico was not willing to sell parts of Texas land to anyone who was not a Mexican citizen. Juan Seguin had Mexican citizenship. So he helped broker the deal. My relative was like a, I think he was like a trapper, but not like a trapper keeper. Or maybe he was a trapper keeper, you never know. Uh, his friend Juan Seguin helped him secure the purchase of the land. And my great, 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 great uncle, Michel Menard, is French. I co-founded Galveston Island, and I've always thought that was really cool. My Aunt Barbara was always really into history and genealogy and stuff like that. And after she got cancer the first time, she really like leaned into it and got into like doing charts for everyone in our family. And when like she was all about Michelle Menard, who is our relative who has the house. And I remember her being so excited about how like she emphasized when she talked about him, his historical home still stands to this very day, which I don't know if you're aware of this, but the Gulf of Mexico gets a lot of fucking hurricanes and they get beat to shit and pounded all the time. The uh, hurricane of uh, 1900, 8,000 people died. 8,000 Galveston residents died in that hurricane. So the fact that this home is still standing, because even if you've got like a structurally sound home other people's houses are falling apart and that shit's flying at yours and tearing your shit down too it's wild but yes it has been um maintained and restored it is a historical place now and my aunt barbara i remember the texas declaration of independence had like what do they call it not like a seasonal display, but like a feature. Maybe that like there's certain things do like traveling around for people to see at different museums. An exhibit! When the Texas Declaration of Independence was on exhibit in Austin, my Aunt Barbara got really excited and she like rounded up all of us girls on the Michelle Menard side of the family and took us all down to the museum to look at the Texas Declaration of Independence because, da-da, our boy who co-founded Galveston Island. He was one of the signatures on the Texas Declaration of Independence. How long were we even independent for? Three years? Lord. So I'm in the historical neighborhood where the house is. We're gonna go look at it. And this neighborhood is beautiful. Like all, the architecture of all of these homes, I would love to show you, but I do not feel comfortable doing that because people live here. Civilians live here. If someone thought my neighborhood was cute and they just wanted to like walk around filming how cute my house was and then just like put it in a fucking video, I would be really uncomfortable with that. So I'm gonna try to just only show what I can see from the outside of the Menard house. I'm walking down the street with a tripod and this is like, I feel like the biggest loser anyone's ever met in their life.
okay, uh, I feel a little creepy. How do, like, uh, uh, vloggers do that thing where they walk around in public talking to a camera? Do people not look at him like, look at this fucking loser? Like, I was right here. Trying to, like, take a picture of this, right? This, right here. Historical marker. And someone, like, pulled over on the street behind me right here. And they just kind of, like, sat there for a minute. And I was like, oh, am I doing something wrong? And I didn't want to turn around because I high-key thought it was the police. And I was like, well, shit. Maybe if I look like I don't know it, that I'm doing something wrong, they'll think that I don't know that I'm doing something wrong because I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I was doing anything wrong. <coughs> See? So I guess like I'm gonna try to take some photos so my mom will be proud of me. So I definitely feel creepy and weird. But nobody has yelled at me, and I haven't seen any signs that say I can't do this. But I feel weird about it. I think I got enough photos to send to my mom to make her proud of me. There's definitely a very weird sound up in the trees. I don't know if someone is flying a drone over me, or if there's a bee problem. It's a historical marker. I'm not, am I not... Am I not allowed to be here with my broken handheld tripod and my very janky full-size tripod? Oh my gosh, I was trying to collapse that thing earlier and a nut fell out and I can't figure out where to put the nut back in. Okay, well, let's get out of here. I want to go down to the beach because I really want to put my butt in that water right now. So I'm at this place right now called Salsa's Mexican Restaurant. I guess I, I, made my, I made my way into the tourism area. I previously was never spending time around these parts. But I drove past the Landry's on Seawall Boulevard in Galveston that I, I remember going to with my dad and my grandma, Grandma Starry, when she was alive. I remember going there with them as a kid and having a difficult time because I didn't like seafood and I would not find out until many years later that I'm allergic to shellfish and regular fish just gives me a messed up stomach for several days. Oh, I was also very uncomfortable because my grandmother was mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna run up in there. I think I'm gonna get chips, queso, and like veggie quesadillas and I'm gonna take it with me down to the beach at the other end of the island, away from the resorts and the tourist people. I'm gonna go be a bum. Every time I travel somewhere, which is not frequent, but like when I do go, I don't wanna be the person like seeing the sights that everybody else has. I'm like, how can I be a bum like a local? I, that's what I wanna do. Well, fellas, I got my quesadillas in my queso. It's really good. This beach is pretty small. I was hoping that like, I would be able to drive a little farther down away from people, but that's simply not the case here. And to be honest, the wind is a little chilly. You know, I know once I get in the water and start getting damp, ew, damp, once I start splashing around, that wind is gonna get to me, which is why I'm wearing this hoodie over my bathing suit. How delightful. Am I holding this tiny microphone too close? I can't tell, the, the wind is loud. If that's a problem, I can fix it in post. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never met you or left you. I'm not really sure which one is it. Oh, it is nice and warm. Oh, how lovely. I do love like, leaning into the waves, like I'm fighting them off. Do you know how stupid I feel with this fucking microphone? Oh, look at me, mom. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me, mom? Baywatch. That'll do, pig. I wanna thank you for listening.
I feel like forgiveness is very important, so I want you to forgive yourself for the time that you have wasted watching this video, and have a good day! I have a tiny microphone.